Let's talk about some cleaner water. Every drop of water that has ever fallen on Earth may have come to this planet on an asteroid or a comet. And the same goes for many of the precious metals that we mine. This morning, Dave Malkoff takes us to a place where the countdown is on to launch asteroid mining ships to bring the riches of outer space home. Asteroids, those hunks of rock and metal, are deep space bonanzas. What are you trying to do? You're trying to mine asteroids? We're creating an industry which will bring the resources of space within the economic influence of this planet. In an office building outside of Seattle, Chris Lewicki, a leader of two NASA Mars rover missions, uh, we're in our manufacturing and test facility, is building a company, build Planetary Resources, to mine asteroids. This was once orbiting the sun. We feel that. Uh, oh, so that wow, that's. So very this, heavy. <laughs> some metal asteroids could be worth trillions because they contain an out of this world amount of platinum. Hundreds of times higher concentration than the most productive mines here on Earth. The company plans to launch dozens, if not hundreds, of small, relatively cheap probe satellites to take an up close look at near Earth asteroids, find out how much they're worth, and eventually dig in with robotic mining ships. So that's it, that, that's your spacecraft right back there. Yeah, this is our Arcad 6 satellite. It's about the size of a cereal box. Asteroids have the metal to 3D print spaceships, water to drink, and the stuff rocket fuel is made of, all finders keepers. Is it possible that a person working in this building you included could become a trillionaire from this <laughs> with a T. Uh, with a T. Yeah. Uh, that's something that we're very excited about. Our investors, of course, are very excited about that as well. And those current investors range from Google's Larry Page and Eric Schmidt to Sir Richard Branson. If they are successful, mining asteroids could make it possible for humans to live on other planets someday. Here we are on this fragile blue dot. Unless we're really able to get to multiple places, we might go the, the way of the dinosaurs. At today's cost, just one glass of water transported into space would cost around $10,000 for this much water. But if you could get limitless glasses of water from an asteroid already up there, what well, would make space travel a whole lot cheaper. In Redmond, Washington, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel.